Alright. Welcome to Star Talk Radio in collaboration with Two Fox DC. I'm your boy D. The infamous Mark Star and motherfucking Bill Shoot. To my right is comedian T.J. himself. All that you baby boy! All that you And to his right is DG, aka Wilson Wilson! And to the rear is your favorite boss in this little box of Mr. Save Me. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's up? 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 I want to talk about Jay Z and Beyonce. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. And behind the camera is C Frank. Y'all ain't gonna forget C Frank. Y'all ain't gonna forget C Frank. Oh, oh, shit, my bad. My man is C Frank. I love my child. It's the alcohol in the readers. I'm sorry. Go ahead, DG. You got it. All right. I want to talk about Jay Z and Beyonce. You know, I guess the upcoming power couple, you know, in the industry. How many of y'all go on to sit in the front row? Two tickets, they put that down. Just one. That's one ticket. That's, 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 that's per ticket. That's, that's one ticket. How much was it again? One thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, that's that's the ball of sex. God damn, you know what? I'm just like a Beyonce. Yeah, because that, that wholesome character she got, she must be sucking everybody in that front row. That's what I said. She's about to sell her herself, because I know she ain't doing something. She's doing something. Seven hundred and fifty. Nah, nah. But that, that price I heard, that's a pubic hair section. Like, she gonna shave her cooch right in front of everybody, and everybody in front is gonna get a sample of her hair. <laughs> but now here's the thing, here's the thing. You go online, Ticketmaster, wherever you go, and you select seat row one, seat 46, whatever, say that's in the state. After you pay with your credit card, you didn't pay your rent for your mortgage, for your electric, for your gas, for your water bill, most of y'all ain't just gonna go. It says that you are still not guaranteed that seat, but they will keep you in that row, but you might be at the end, where you're at the corners in that Jay-Z and Beyonce like this. Well, hold up, girl. Seven seven fifty. No, well, you say what you saying though, but uh, it's gonna be some people dead, dead homeless for that seventeen hundred dollars. That's, that, that's it, right there, right there. So, that's it. Somebody for going gas. Yep. And everything else to get lights on and shit in the house. You got it. Wow. Seventeen fifty. Man, that's a dedicated fan. Well, the fact is, what's the cheapest ticket? When I was online, the cheapest thing I saw was like two hundred dollars. Exactly. The cheapest the yeah. nosebleed? Yeah, that's the, the rackets. Yeah, that's yeah, what you still said. Yeah, the pre-sale but, tickets, yeah. like uh, two days before they actually went on sale, exactly. and you had to have a code, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, special code with Chicken Ron or Live Nation and all this other shit. Right. And those tickets were going for like one fifty yeah. to one seventy. Damn, they cheap. A piece. A yeah. piece. Yeah. And I'm talking about that's that's four hundred section. Right. What? You up there with God, you know, you're hanging out with me and everything. But this is what I'm forgetting though. The show is all up there East Coast. And it's still menus that ain't even sold out yet, right? Like I got folks that got tickets up in Philly. And you look at where their tickets at, it's on that on that map. They right there on the floor. But who the fuck wants to be on the floor? At that concert, there ain't nobody gonna sit down. Cause if you play and standing up crying in your way, you can't see shit. And if you was a midget motherfucker, I'm talking about shorter than Lou, you need three of motherfuckers <laughs> on the shoulders to so one person can see good. See what I'm saying? Right. They would definitely see him, man. He's a good human, man. I would. This motherfucker look like he got bomb bombs in his pocket. That's what I'm saying, man. See, if Lou went there, he fucking around and get traveled, man. Because ain't nobody look down when they walk in the crowds like that. You know, but there's something. I was sitting there thinking, right, yesterday. I was like, 1750. They can bring back Mike Jackson, Whitney Houston, Hold on. Marvin Gaye. Would you pay that much money to see a hologram or everybody you just made? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought to say. And the thing is, though, they probably get super paid because you got to think about it. 
even so even the 400 section tickets are pretend our average of like 160. Right, right. These they their dates are all set for fucking stadiums and arenas. Exactly. They yep. don't like stadiums. They ain't really doing no motherfucking halls or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing small. Everything they doing is got to be like. 20,000 seats and up. They're going on some Guinness Book level shit. They you know what I'm saying? Right now, look at the Brazen Records, man. Right? And look at that. I was like 20,000 seat joints because those are like basketball games. Basketball right. games yeah. are 20, 30,000. Yeah. Yeah. These motherfuckers doing football stadiums. Exactly. They're doing MetLife Stadium. Uh, yeah. Fucking uh, Dallas joint. Yeah. They probably like doing Dallas joint or some other shit, man. Yeah. These are motherfuckers stay in. These motherfuckers are selling out. Yeah, man. Well, we're gonna go to nobody. Nobody's gonna go to the same team. Take a picture of this shit, take a tweet. We're gonna face like, yeah, yeah, I'm balling. I'm balling. I use my zoom. Yeah, I'm zoom in. Now, right here. Look at those videos. You know what we're doing? Watching that shit from the goddamn Megatron. Because you didn't watch the whole stuff. But hold up, y'all. I got a question, though. But you know how to be lip syncing and shit. You think this is going to be the first show ever with rapper lip syncing? Nah, because Jay don't never use uh, the rap track. He hate when, like, you use the rapping track. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He'd rather have the instrumental and he rap his verse over the instrumental. Right. You know what I'm saying? I see that shit myself. He oh. can't stand when they yeah. use well, like, they they use a band the, also. When they, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When they used to rap and try. Yeah, he, he used a band. Both right. of them used a band. Right. You know what I'm saying? He can't stand that shit when the, the, the actual track is playing behind him. He, he like, man, cut that shit off. You mean the instrumental? He'll rap over it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. Do his shit, man. Yeah. So, I respect both of them for having a show, man, because they know when I hit, they, they both put on the motherfucker show. I ain't seen Jay-Z since the motherfucker rockin' on the tour. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah.